Alright, everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDC Geo video with the Guardian Rising hype content. And today we're going to look at a deck using Wishy Washy GX. And it's crazy to think, Wishy Washy, my boy, my boy, Wishy Washy. Who would ever want to make a video on you? You suck. But in fact, Wishy Washy doesn't suck. You know why? Because he's Wishy Washy. I'm just kidding. Um, I, I don't know if any other PDC Geo YouTubers of me uploading this video or recording it have even made a Wishy Washy deck, so there you go. Wishy Washy GX. It is something else, I'll tell you. It is not that good at all. I, I, I don't think it's good at all. It It's a really cool looking Pokemon. Like, it's a giant monster made up of Wishy Washies. But is it any good? Probably not. So let's take a look at it. So to start off, it's got 210 HP for a basic water type, which is awesome when you pair it with Rough Seas and even Fighting Fury Belt, but we don't play Fighting Fury Belt in this deck. So it has three attacks, two of which cost five energy not one not two it's not even a dragon type so you can't even do double dragon so it's first attack water gun does one for 20 yeah meh one for 20 is pretty bad when you can do one for 50 on uh, vika volt gx or like one for 30 on landris 30 to the bench uh, or like one for 40 with zygarde so you're never gonna use water gun unless choice ban you want to do 50 if you really want to play like that it has the attack Torrential Vortex, so for 5 energies, 3 waters and a DCE, does 120 damage, and then you discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So again, not that good. 120 damage is a lot of energy for 5. When you run into Baby Mewtwo, Lugia, Tapu Lele, Mega Mewtwo Y, Eveltal EX, Wishy Washy is not going to survive at all. Even with a belt, it's probably still going to get knocked out. Its GX attack, however, is something else. So, for 3 waters and 2 colorless, it does 220, 220 damage, which is a lot of damage. That's probably going to knock out most Pokemon, other than, like, Decidueye, Sogaleo, and uh, Lunala, and stuff like that, but that's still a lot of damage to do. Then you move all the energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So, I guess the strategy that we're going to be doing with Wishy Washy is we're going to try and build this thing up with Max Elixir and Aqua Patch, take a huge knockout with Blue Surge, and then just build up some other attackers and go from there. It's a very, very simple concept. Um, PDCGO Radio kind of um, talked about this idea. And I was like, what other way are you going to play Wishy Washy? So I was like, screw it. Let's go for the Wishy Washy. Look up Wishy Washy by Nigos, by the way. That's actually a pretty catchy song. Um, but here we go. Let's look at the attackers. So yeah, the strategy is, boom, you just build up a Wishy Washy with Max Luxor attachments or Palkia EX. And then you go Blue Surge for 220 damage, take a big knockout on something, and then build up a bunch of different attackers. I know when you can use Max Elixir and Aqua Patch anyways, you could do that, but I still want to make a video on this thing, even though it's not that good. I still want to make a video on it to showcase Wishy Washy GX. Like, I can't leave this guy in the dust, you know what I mean? I want to make a video on at least all the GXs from Sun and Moon. Guardians Rising, so Wishy Washy, I gotta make a video on it. I know Water Box is 20 times better than this, but we're still gonna use it anyways. I mean, Blue Surge doing that is awesome. I mean, if you think about it, Ice Beam GX is not that good anymore when Olympia, Switch, Ultra Road, Escape Rope are all in the format, and Pokemon Ranger 2. Lapras GX is completely just, its GX attack sucks. I've never liked Ice Beam GX. I thought there's too many ways around it. Blue Surge, at least, you can take a huge knockout with. So, that's kind of the goal of this deck, is to use Blue Surge, take a big knockout. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, guys, I couldn't find a lot of room for stuff like Energy Switch, but we have Aqua Patch, which kind of works, so we'll take a look at the attackers. So, our main attackers in this deck, other than Wishy Washy, are going to be our Lapras GXs for Blizzard Burn and Collect. Now, we're going to pull off a Blizzard Burn every turn thanks to this Wishy Washy. I know, there's a lot of Wishy Washy in this deck. You got the boy Wishy Washy GX, and then you got the boy Little Wishy Washy with Coward Dice. So, what you do with Lapras is you have a Wishy Washy on your bench, and what you do is you retreat, and you have to have Mana Feed. You have the Water on. So, you retreat Lapras for free into the Wishy Washy with Coward Dice, and then you do Coward Dice, and then bring out the Lapras, play the Wishy Washy down. And that's how you do the Blizzard Burn every single turn. So, that's kind of what we're going to be aiming for. That's why we do play this one single copy of Wishy Washy in this deck for that reason alone. Um, so, two Lapras, one Palkia. This is great in the early game if we need to set up with Aqua Turbo. I mean, if you also really want to, you can do Pearl Hurricane. It's not that good, it needs four waters. But if you ever want to do Pearl Hurricane, I mean, there you go. But yeah, Palkia is mainly here for Aqua Turbo. It's a good starting Pokemon. Glaceon's another main attacker if we're playing against something like, I don't know, 
a deck that plays mostly evolutions, like Sogaleo, or, I mean, anything that plays evolutions, you know what I mean? We do have the Glaceon for that alone. We got Articuno in the deck, too. Articuno's really good with Choice Band. Basically gives it, like, a free coin flip, almost. So, we do play Articuno in this deck. It's a great card to take easy knockouts with, if you really need to. Like, if you damage something heavily, you can then knock it out with Tri-Edge, and take, like, three prizes if you knock it an EX or a GX Pokemon. So, that's why I've went with one Articuno for attackers. We don't play Red Ice. I know. I don't think you need Red Ice. EXs are so popular, but I like Glaceon a lot more in this deck over the Red Ice EX. I think Red Ice with Funny Fury Ball is a lot better. We don't actually have Funny Fury Ball in this deck, which makes Red Ice very, very easy to knock out. So, we actually don't use Red Ice in. Instead, of we have Glaceon instead. So, that's why we don't have Red Ice. We don't also have Tapu Lele, and I know you're going to say, how do you not Tapu Lele? Look, here's the thing. I'm going to play two Shamans instead of Tapu Lele, because I don't have one right now. So, all you have to do is just take out a Shaman and throw in a Tapu Lele GX. It's that easy. Okay, so, there you go. We have two Shamans, but if you have a Tapu Lele, you just take out a Shaman. You go one Shaman, one Tapu Lele. It's that simple. I'm not going to go in depth on that. There you go. <laughs> um, Yeah. We got the Manaphy. Manaphy gives you free retreat, which allows you to retreat free, and also gives you the option to do the Lapras Wishy Washy play to Blizzard Burn every single turn. So, yeah, those are all of our Pokemon in the deck. Again, our goal is to build up a Wishy Washy very quickly with either like Palkia or something. With Aqua Patch and Max Elixir, it's not that hard to pull off a turn two, turn three Wishy Washy, so that's the goal. Now, there are some weird cards we have in this deck. First thing is Ultra Ball. You're probably like, why do you have Ultra Ball in this deck? Uh, well, it's great with Aqua Patch because you can use Ultra Ball to get rid of your water energies to use it for Aqua Patch. And I went with four Ultra Balls. I know it's crazy. Sometimes, though, you might want to use Ultra Ball to get rid of excess stuff. Like, I'm not going to need any Glaceon in this matchup. I'm going to throw a Glaceon. I'm probably not going to use this Palkia EX. I'm going to get rid of Palkia. I'm probably not going to need the other Wishy Washy GX because I've already built mine up and used these uh, Blue Surge GX attacks. So I'll just get rid of that. I think Ultra Ball is still good in this deck. We do have Tide Ball, so chill out, but Ultra Ball with Aqua Patch is too good. It helps us pull off easier Aqua Patch plays to pull off quicker Wishy Washy GX attacks. So that's why we do play four Ultras. This deck is all about building up your Wishy Washy very quickly. It's not about Ultra Ball in a way and stuff. Obviously, if you're playing a different Water Box deck, you can go three Dive Balls, but Ultra Ball can grab Shaman too. That's why we have the four. Four Aqua Patch, it's the best card to have. You have a Wishy Washy GX chilling on the bench. You Aqua Patch Water Energy onto it, build it up. That's how we're going to build up quicker. But it also works with Water Pokemon in general. Two Dive Balls to grab our Water Pokemon. Uh, one Field Blower since Garbodor is in a throw mat. And also anything else that uses tools like Choice Bands are very threatening to this deck too. So that's why that's there. Four Max Elixirs is how we get more Waters in play. One Super Rod to get us back some Pokemon, some energy. Three Trainer's Mail because we do have Aqua Patch and Max Elixir to attend to. And Trainer's Mail is going to help us make sure that we actually get those. That's why we got those three mails in here. We got four Ultra Balls in the deck, too. Four thing I already went in depth. Four VS Seekers, four Hour Supporters. We just wanted a simple and Sycamore Lysander Supporter lineup. I don't think you really need anything else. Three Rough Seas. Since you have Water Types, you may as well play Rough Seas in this deck. Um, so that's why we got those in there, obviously. Um, you might want to go with two if you think Water is really popular. Like, Quad Lapras is popular. Water Types are still going to get very popular because of Aqua Patch. So if you really want, you can go two Rough Seas if you think you're going to run into a lot of Water. So if you really want, just take, you know, two Rough Go two Rough Seas instead of, you know, three if you really want to. That could also be a great option. It's up to you, though. It's up to you. It's up to you if you want to do that. Uh, two Lysander. Lysander with Blue Surge can be amazing when you want to take a huge knockout to set up the Blue Surge to build up your attackers. Two ends is draw support. Four Sikas. Four Sikas is great when you need to get rid of Waters with Ultra Ball for Aqua Patch. Three Choice Band. Choice Band will allow your Lapras to probably knock out stuff in one hit. Also allows your Pelkia to do 70 for two, which is good, and your Glaceon to do 100 for... Three, which is also good, allows you to two-shot a lot easier with Glaceon, and also makes your Articuno's one-shots easier, so you can take more than one prize card. You can take, like, three prizes with Articuno. And, I mean, if you're ever backed in a wall, you can do Torrentental Vortex. If you're playing against a deck that plays a lot of special energy, I guess Wishiwashi's attack isn't that bad, but it's pretty bad, let's be real here. And we won the total of... Pardon me, holy cow. <laughs> 11 water energies. Obviously, we need a lot of waters for Aqua Patch and Max Elixir to hit. We play a little bit more. I think Water Box X play 10 water. We play 11 because we need the extras waters for Blue Surge. We don't have energy switch in this deck either, so that amount of waters is pretty nice, in my opinion. So, yeah, this is the Wishy Washy GX deck. Again, it's all about using Wishy Washy's GX attack. It's a Wishy Washy Water Box deck. It, it, look, I know Water Box is still the better version without Wishy Washy. We're just going to run my boy Wishy Washy, anyways. So, yeah, let's go on some matches with this deck. See if we can pull off that crazy blue surge play and then build up a field and go ham. Let's find out.
Okay, let's go find some matches with our wishy-washy deck. Pull off some wishy-washiness. And we get that Sun and Moon pack, too. Who knows? So, first game, and we are up against a Dragon Grass and Water deck. Kind of confused on the typing there. Heads or tails? I'm going to go heads here. Toadell, I believe in you. You let me down again, Toadell. But, you know, with the speed of this deck of getting energies in play, we can probably attack him turn one anyways. So, it's not a big deal. Lapras start. That's fine by me. We can maybe do turn one collecting, which is good. While well, we build up a wishy-washy GX. Hand ain't too good, though. Our hand is actually kind of bad. <laughs> Two Shays. We can draw a few cards. Mail and, pardon me, Rough Season, maybe Lysander, but not looking forward to that. And we are up against something I cannot tell what he's playing. You can see Center Lady, Grass Energy, Water Energy, and Talon Flame. Could be a Dragon deck, because Dragon types do use two energies, and I don't know. He might be playing Coma OOGX, because he has Dragon types. I guess it is a Dragon deck, then. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, no, I was saying Vikavolt, but Grass and Water is not what Vikavolt can use, so I I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out when my opponent goes here. But let's see. Yeah, I don't mind starting with Lapras. So Lapras is actually a good starter for this deck, because Collect is very nice to do. So I don't mind getting the Lapras start over getting the any other starter. Maybe the best starter would be Palkia, but again, we can build it up with Max Elixir. Speaking of Max Elixir, but <laughs> no Pokemon to put it on. Palkia and Loran? What the heck? He has Grass, which kind of scares me. Now Lapras is not a good starter because he has Lorantis, but I am so confused with what he's running. He's got, like, Fomantis, Palkia, Talonflame, different types of energies. Don't know what's going on. Oh, it's oh, it's Lorantis, Lapras. Lorantis, Water. With Talonflame, I guess. Sure. And a pass. Alright, didn't do anything. Alright, can we get a Water Pokemon? Alright, Rip Max Lixir. Can we find an Ultra Ball or a Dive Ball off this Trainer's Mail? We do. Nice. There we go. All hope is not lost. All hope is not lost. Alright, we'll get rid of these two. And uh, I, that's a weird glitch. <laughs> that's a glitch or something, I think. And I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab Palkia. I still think Aqua Turbo is the best way to build a Wishy Washy right now. And we'll go Max Elixir. Hopefully it... How does it miss? What? No! Oh my god, Max Elixir. Why do you let me down all the time? Alright, here we go. Shaman... Can we find more energies? Oh, come on. Lapras. Glaceon. I mean, it's decent against this thing, I guess. I'm not really worried about that, though, to be honest. I think we just get rid of Glaceon and N. Get ourselves the wishy-washy GX. We could grab Manaphy. Well, no, I was thinking of playing Shaman down. I want to save the bench spot for Manaphy, though. So I don't need that. He doesn't play Parallel City. If he does, then uh, I was wrong. But he did. I did. He played. How did we not get any energy? What the heck? Yo, how many energies are prized? What? What? We have three energies prized, and we somehow didn't... That is just... I, <laughs> that is something to take in. That is something to take in. Oh, my God. Well, that was a horrible turn. We got no energies in play. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, that, that just doesn't make... That makes no sense. Well, at the very least, he might have a dead hand... I don't know. You know. Never mind, he's gonna collect. We'll end him, that's fine. I was gonna end him. I'm not gonna go sick of... I'm not gonna lose any of these cards. Man, like... If we can at least build up a Palkia next turn, I'll be happy. Ooh, we didn't retreat? Okay, that's weird. Alright, here we go. Trim mail. We don't have any waters in our discard. Thanks a lot, Aqua Patch. I really don't want to go sick of, but I might have to. I don't want to end him. He's not doing anything. Eh, whatever. I need to dig. I wish I got rid of a water, though. We're still only getting one energy, though. What the heck is going on? I am so confused right now. Alright, we'll go collect here, see what we can find. Okay, there you go. That That's a little better. We might be able to tackle Palkia next turn, assuming all goes to plan. I might have to end him, though. I could also bring out that other Palkia on his bench. Ooh, escape rope. He's... Mm, I might just let him take a knockout on Shaman. Now yeah, we'll bring out Lapras. Well, I guess, sure. Wish we brought out either... If we had that Tower Dice down, that'd be really nice. I'll let him attack me. He's going Ice Beam. Alright, he's wasting his GX attack already. Nice. Okay, good. Alright, come on. What do we get at the top deck? More energy. Perfect. This is perfect, actually. This works out. Hmm, I think I'm, I might just lie there. That I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just grab our Dakuno. Oh no, the energies, man. Oh no. 
Um, I think at this point, Tana kind of Wishy Washy is fine. I think, like, that's fine. Like, this is a bad deck, but I think that's fine. I, I want to, I, I know I could have built up Lapras, but I want to build up my boy Wishy Washy. That's, that's the point of this deck. And I think I'm just going to take this turn to trap that Palkia. It's got a two retreat cost, and you can't attack with it in one turn, unless this dude escape ropes again. And we can heal our Lapras a little bit more, which is fine by me. You know, we can, I think, walk out of an attack. Are you kidding me? What, you have DCE in your deck? Yo, what the fridge? What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, bro. That is something else. I, I, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> my mind is blown. At least we can end the four. At least we can end the four at the very least. That's not too bad, I guess. Sure, I guess. I'm trying to look at the positives here. I want to keep that choice band. I don't want to get fuel blowered. There we go. And we didn't get rid of a water though, did we? Nah. Max Elixir should hit, hopefully. Uh, probably not. We got 13 cards left. There we go. We can attack with Wishy Washy next turn and actually take him out. Collect. If we can find that Via Seeker Lysander, we can actually just take out the Lapras. Ooh, there we go. So, looks like my boy Wishy Washy finally attacked. We are kind of low on cards. Kind of. Not really. We have N, so it's fine. Um, is he just going to pass? If he does, then I knock him out next turn. With Wishy Washy, and then I build up my board. I mean, we'd have to build up one Lapras. I'm fine with building up uh, Palkia, though. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We have a lot of options, guys. We have a lot of options. I'm kind of scared of Lorantis, kind of not, though. Alright, just a pass. Okay. Ooh, Max Elixir. Okay, that missed. Right, at least we got rid of it. I don't think we're even going to need that anymore. I think, yeah, we take a knockout here with my boy. Wish we finally pulled it. We actually pulled this off. I am genuinely surprised right now. Let's go mail, see if we can hit, like, be a Seeker. We do. So we have Lysander for next turn. I'm not going to play that right now. And I think we just go... Blue Surge GX and take out this Lapras GX. 250. Wishy Washy, I actually used you. I have to move all the energy, unfortunately. We do have a water in our hand for Wishy Washy, though, so it's all good. And build up Articuno. We could have built up Palkia, but I don't really. That's fine. It's fine. What? Is it going to move? Oh, there we go. Oh, I already clicked it. Yeah, you can use Articuno to take out his. Uh, Thing. And there's more energy. All right, there we're getting the energy down. We can even build this thing up again if we want. There's so many options right now. There's a lot of options. I think we're in a really good spot. That lap press. Unless this dude drops a Lorantis, um, Snorlax. Okay, I am kind of confused. I mean, I I thought the Lorantis with um, <laughs> Leaf Fish for twenty. That tickles. That tickles. We'll just heal that off. We'll build up another Wish. Yeah, sure. We can build them up again. Why not? I'm going to go bet. Uh, let's burn this die ball. I'm not going to need it anymore. Grab that wishy-washy shirt. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to try and take a knockout here with Tri-Edge. And he concedes. Uh, you know, at the very least, we pulled off the wishy-washy play. And I think, are we going to get the pack? We beat a deck with grass types, which are weak to. Hey, we got that Sun and Moon pack. Let's go. I'll open up at the end of the video unless I forget. Maybe I'll open up now. Yeah, we'll open it up now. I might forget. I might forget to do it, guys. I might forget to do it, which I probably will know in my luck, so... We'll open it up. But, you know, at the very least, we did pull off the wishy-washy play, which is all that matters. Wishy-washy, you're, you're one of the worst GXs ever made. But we managed to pull that off pretty quickly, actually. Built it up fairly fast. So, I'm pretty happy. So, here we go. Let's see what we are going to pull from this. I mean, I guess the Decidueye GX is the best card I could get out of this. Maybe Secret Ultra Ball. No. We got Decidueye, but not Decidueye GX. But, you know what? At least I didn't pull any GXs out of that, which means the next Guardians Rising pack I open. The odds of pulling a GX are going to be a little higher. So here we go, let's find another match. Here we go, boys. Here we go, we're gonna get Giratina. I already got three Giratinas on the phone. I don't need any more Giratinas, but you know, it's still nice anyways, you know? I'll have like five locked Giratinas, but it's fine. Um, here we go, what are we up against? A Fairy, Dark, and Colorless deck. Maybe it's Vespaquin, because Fairy could be uh, Klefki. It could also be Veltal. He has a Veltal coin in his sleeves, so it's possible. So, that's good. We win the coin flip, which is sweet. Should we go? Let's try and pull off another Wishy Wash. I'm hoping this dude doesn't get rid of energy, though. So, hoping. Lapras start is fine. I'm fine with that. We can do the collecting. We can go ham with my boy Lapras. I do still want to make a quad Lapras video, but with Sylveon, Sylveon is obviously the better choice. I've got to put on sleeves. Wow. Ooh, Dive Ball. Nice. Uh, let's grab that Wishy Washy GX. Palkia's in the deck, which is good. Nothing, uh, it looks like Wishy Washy's prize, so let's grab the Wishy Washy. My opponent's probably like, what am I playing against? I'll tell you what you're playing against. You're playing against whatever I'm playing. Um, sure. 
Yeah, we'll grab Shay. We can put Rough Seas down too. Let's see, uh, so both Mana Fees are in the deck, uh, but one Lapras is prized. So if we lose this Lapras and we don't get the other one quick enough, that could be bad. So hopefully that doesn't come down to that. Technically, I actually could have Ultra Ball for the other Shaman if I wanted to. Drawn six, but it's good. Hi, never mind. It's not good. Uh, I think I just wait a turn. We could get end, you know, so we'll wait a turn, sure. We could get end. I don't want to use his Ultra Balls right away. I think we can hold on to it for just a single turn, but if not, that's fine. I'll probably just try and attack with Palkia next turn if we can pull off, like, a Mana Fee, Max Elixir, retreat into Palkia play. Togetic. Oh, this is Togekiss Darkrai, then. That's a deck I've been seeing. I know uh, the token my Minorities and Aurobomb covered this. I know they're pretty big fans of this deck, so there you go. And, see, told you, told you, told you. I played those Ultra Balls, he wouldn't have ended me. Alright, question is, can we attack with Palkia this turn? Let's find out. Ooh, it's possible. I think we actually can. If we can get a... Tr uh, I think we can. We can probably just Ultra Ball away, whatever. Ooh, Max Elixir, please hit. I probably should have mailed first. Alright, nice, it hits. Okay, good, 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 good. It, it, it is lit, folks. It is lit. Here we go. Um, sure, we can actually two-shot him if it's possible. Uh, we'll do Dive Ball, and I guess we can grab... I don't know what to grab... Oh, the other Shaman's Prize. There you go. Um, we got Mana Fee. Nah. Super on in the deck? It is. Yeah, we'll grab Mana Fee. I don't think he's going to attack with Togekiss. He obviously uses basics, so that's fine. Let's go Trainer's Mail. Sick of There we go. That are we goal, folks. We're going to lose our poor little Mana Fee. But it was worth it. Maybe I should have grabbed the Articuno or the Coward. I mean, Articuno's not too bad against Togepi when it's only got 40 HP. So that's good. Oh, two Waters? That's not what I wanted to see. Hmm. Can we hit a Aqua Patch off this? Nope. Never mind. We have Via Seeker. I don't need to grab that. Uh, Aqua Turbo, then, I guess, for 70. And we can two-shot the Shaman, which is pretty hilarious. All right, we got enough energy. We're fine. We can build him up in two turns, probably. So, there we go. Touch that Wishwashy. And at least we'll take out his Dark Rain one hit, maybe. It's possible. Lysander's on the discard, so Via Seeker, Lysander on that Dark Rain is always possible. If we can take down his Shaman with Aqua Turbo, I'm going to be happy. Honestly, I think I might just Lysander Shaman. We're, the funny enough, it has 70 damage on it, so even if he does Field Blower, we'd still be able to knock it out with Aqua Turbo, which is pretty sweet, so that's that's pretty good. Um, depending on how long this game lasts, I'll probably just do two games. I mean, this deck is pretty bad, but, you know, we'll, we'll probably do two games. I guess the second Palkia wouldn't be too bad, to be honest with you. i just been getting lucky I didn't prize it then, I guess. So that's fine. That's fine. I mean, my opponent could pull off a Togus this turn, depending on how many energy he plays. I'm losing my voice right now, because I just recorded another video before this, and I did a lot of talk in that video. And boy, I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my voice. So just an attachment on Dark Rite and a pass. Wow. That's it? Okay. I think I'm fine just to Aqua Turbo. I gotta attach it to all... Oh, I gotta put all the energy on this thing, though. But that's fine. That's all good. Yeah, we'll just take out Dark Rite next turn. With my boy Wishy Washy. It's all good. My point says you have a good deck. I, I do have a good deck. But, you know what? It's a Wishy Washy. I'm attacking you with a wishy-washy take that in he says angry face i was i did i wasn't trying to be a dick i was i wasn't trying to be a dick i, I was literally just you know trying to he concedes no oh my god we we almost got the wishy-washy i didn't mean to like get him mad i wasn't trolling him or anything you know what i mean i was literally just like thanks for saying you have a good deck when i'm playing wishy-washy gx you know what i mean but Okay, you know, Wishy Washy is so bad that we're going to find one more match with it. That guy conceded, unfortunately. We almost pulled off the Blue Surge, but unfortunately, my man conceded. So we're going to find one more game with the Wishy Washy deck. You go Wishy Washy. You kind of wish we were playing against Volcanion. I think Volcanion is great with Turtonator, but unfortunately, we're just not finding any Volcanion games. I mean, it's a good matchup, but we ain't playing against it, sadly. So it is what it is. We lose the coin flip, though, but who knows? It's always possible to pull off that turn one Palkia play, so you never know. You always got to look up. To the ceiling and smile we get a wishy-washy start unfortunately but we can actually do a lot with his hand so i'm fine with that yeah i think we got palkia and aqua patch to it i guess it's a water box mirror match yeah i guess psychic would be tapulele so it's a water box mirror match yep water box mirror match okay that's fine that's fine oh he's playing that okay so i guess does he not play rough seas if he doesn't play rough seas then i don't know if i want to even use rough seas okay grabs it from your deck huh Choice band. Alright, then we can actually take advantage of that ourselves. Tapu Lele. I actually don't want him to grab an end here because I do like this hand quite a bit. He might notice a wishy washy and be like, yeah, I'm not gonna get in. He's gonna end me! This scumbag! 
No, I like this hand. Don't do it. No, the end. Dang, man, I really like that hand. But hey, you know, it's always better to get a better hander, right? Yeah, it's actually a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, Max Lister fails, that's good. And a pass. Okay, here we go. Another Aqua Patch, nice. Alright, we'll grab ourselves a Palkia ourselves. Okay, Manaphy is prized, that's good to know. Hmm, is it possible to attack? No, I don't think it is. Nah. I don't think it's possible, man. I think we just do this. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll grab Shaman. Yeah. We'll Aqua Patch, grab Shaman. I might even Lysander out, maybe like Glaceon. Just to buy some time. I don't think I'll need to, but... I'll be able to draw more cards with Shaman, which seems fine by me. You know? No, I'm not really in a rush to knock out Manaphy anyway, so who cares. It buys me some time. You know, it's all good in the hood. We'll go Shaman for five here. I draw more cards, which is always nice. Okay, there we go. Die Ball. We grab ourselves Mana Fee. Not gonna play that Rough Seas. I don't even know if I want to put down this game, to be honest with you. It's only once per turn, right? Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> we can grab more Mana Fee, so that's fine. But yeah, we attack him next turn and uh, go from there. So we are off to a decent start. We can put down Mana Fee. We can Aqua Turbo um, to the Wishy Washy, and it'll be built up very soon. And we can just knock out whatever we choose. Tapu Lele will eat us up pretty badly, though. Does he play DC? That's the question. If not, we'll take out Glaceon. I'm fine with that. As long as Blue Surge at least takes out one dot big EX Pokemon or GX Pokemon, then I think Blue Surge served its purpose. If you have to Blue Surge to a non-EX, it ain't good. Ooh, okay, it's going to be Primarina then. That's interesting. Interesting. We'll go here, and I think we get ourselves a Lapras GX. And, I mean, he's not drawing anything, so I, there's no really no rush to end him. He didn't do anything last turn, so we'll, we'll go Aqua Turbo for 40. And uh, we will just put two energies on our Wishy Washy, and then we'll do another Aqua Turbo, or we top deck a Max Elixir, and we Blue Surge him. I do want to Blue Surge that Palkia, or if he gets a Prime Arena down. Actually, we can't, we can't one-shot it. What? Team Flare that? What? Well, that slowed me down a little bit, but... That actually sets up Aqua Patch, which is beautiful. It did set us back in energy attachment, that's fine though. And I actually don't mind taking out Palkia with Blue Surge if it comes down to that, which it looks like it is. Glaceon is not scary, we play zero evolutions. So Aqua Turbo for 40. I'm not gonna put Rough Seas down. Or 70, sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with Rough Seas. It only goes to the bench, right? He can't build up his active. Okay, good. I was like, he can build up his active. Build on that Tapu Lele though, that's fine though. We're gonna waste the thing anyways. Uh, I want to keep the men's base for Shaman. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm probably going to play Shaman this turn, to be honest with you. Like, I think I can attack him. Yeah, it's got a few notifications on my phone. Alright, what do we grab? Articuno. Actually, no. We gotta, I want to grab something. But now we'll grab six with Shaman, that's fine. I would have thinned out the deck anyways, but it's fine. We'll grab Shaman here. If we can hit a Max Elixir, we'll knock out this Palkia this turn. Okay, we don't. But No, we got it. We got a... No, there we go. <laughs> There's a Max Elixir that we need. Um, yeah, here we go. We can just Max Elixir onto this if it hits, and it does. Nice, nice, nice. I like to see it, and we're just about to do some crazy plays. We can even take out that Tapu Lele, which... I think the Palkia is a little bit more threatening, because it gets energy in play, but... Tapu Lele could become a problem down the road, too. So it does a lot of damage to Lapras. Yeah, I don't like your Tapu Lele, good sir. So we are going to take out that Tapu Lele GX. I kind of wanted to use it on Palkia, though, but I don't really mind. He hasn't gotten any other attackers now, so it's fine. Um, probably going to have to put some energy onto his... On my Palkia, unfortunately. I can't keep the energy on my, my poor thing. But we can set up a Pearl Hurricane, which is fine, I guess. Sure. We can knock out Manaphy with that, with that, so that's fine. So we'll draw two cards here. What are we going to get? Okay, that's fine. So yeah, next turn we will retreat our Wishy Washy into Palkia, and I'll probably just Lysander the Manaphy and knock it out. Seems fine. Rough Seas, so he does play Rough Seas, so I'm glad I got rid of that then. But the question is, is can he get a Primarina down? We did waste our huge, huge attack already, but at this point, does it matter? <laughs> does it matter? He's building up Glaceon, but again, I don't play any evolution, so it's not really a big deal that Glaceon's in play. Does he have a supporter? No, he doesn't. So just an Aqua Turbo for 
70 damage, and our wishy-washy, we, nah, it's kind of useless, you might play two Tapu Lele, maybe taking out that Papu Lele is a better idea though, to be honest, I don't know, let's heal, let's retreat, and maybe we can save wishy-washy for later, I don't know, we'll, we'll hit him with Palkia, eh, sure, we'll, we'll Lysander that pup, I'm gonna take out Manaphy and we win the game, yeah, we choice ban Lapras, win the game next turn, sure. I was like, we can do that. All right, we'll, we'll play this. I don't need the die ball anymore, and I think we'll just grab ourselves another wish washing. So we're not going to need it anymore. And we go Pearl Hurricane for 120, and it doesn't matter what we hit for 30. I guess we hit that because he keeps a 10 damage on him. And then we still knock him out with Lapras, so we win the game. It doesn't matter. I mean, Palkia still gets knocked out. Glaceon gets knocked out by the Choice Band, so it's all good. End 2 could be devastating, though, but we still have two attackers going strong, so it seems good by me. I think the only way my opponent can really get me good is if this thing gets built up. But I guess he's just picking out this thing. He might just... He, is he accepting his fate? Does he top deck an N to get out of this pickle? Or do we win the game? And I think we'll end up the video because this deck sucks. But I don't know. Wishy Washy is actually really fun to use. Who knows? Maybe it's good. Ooh, Lysander. That disrupts me a little bit. Hmm. We can still find an energy, I guess. So it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's fine. We'll fight an energy, I guess. It's all good in the hood. I do need to smack that thing before it comes to Primarina, though. That's a scary thing. Two choice bands. Sure. Yeah, at least we're healing ourselves, which is nice. It's always nice to, to heal ourselves. We can field blower that off. It doesn't matter at this point. And he concedes. <laughs> there you go. I mean, we weren't guaranteed to hit the energy, to be honest with you, but we still might hit it. Did he have his own wishy-washy Rayquaza? That's actually kind of unique, I'm not going to lie, because Primarina needs energy. Maybe Primarina Rayquaza is a, a budget deck I can cover, a new deck I can cover. Play Hammer, Candies, play Crushing Hammer. Interesting. And it's not a bad list for uh, Primarina, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for my PCO content. My boy Wishy-Washy, it is just doing my boy Wishy-Washy's things but it, it it was fun to play i actually enjoyed this deck quite a bit who knows maybe wishy washy has potential in the future i think one water box wouldn't be too bad because that blue surge is actually very powerful and can put in work you saw how good blue surge is so thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my pco content pardon me and yeah help me on the road to 2,000 subs leave a like for more guardians Rising videos and also leave a comment down below if you want to see a roasting bad trades video later this week um because I haven't done one of those in a while, so I might do one for Guardians Rising, because there are some pretty bad trades I've seen on public trades for Guardians Rising cards, so I think a roasting bad trade is in session on these scammers. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys on another PCO video. Leave a like for Wishy Washy and more Guardians Rising content. See you guys later. Peace out.